Greetings, YouTube land. Uh, we're back here again doing some network testing. I am currently sitting near one of the most powerful buildings in the world, uh, the White House. So we're down here in Washington, D.C., and we're doing some network testing. This morning, early a.m., the sun's not up, and before the crowds come in, we are testing... T-Mobile on the left and AT&T is on the right. So we're going to put these two networks head to head, find out how well they hold up in the District of Columbia. Alrighty. So let's get Google search going first. As you can see, I got to make sure that I have multiple cameras going on for safety. And go. All right, so T-Mobile is on the left. AT&T is on the right. So out the break, T-Mobile is at 648 down and 131 up. And AT&T is at 10 down and 9 up. That's not a good showing. They are they didn't they didn't use DSS or they didn't use any um N5 on that test from what I could tell. N41 is still active for for T-Mobile, along with band 66 at 20 megahertz. AT&T is running band 66 at 10 megahertz. So AT&T needs to show up before they get showed out. So next one. Speed test and go. All right, so AT&T is looking a little bit better now at almost 200 megabits per second down. 243 that's a lot better now and about 35 up yes 35.6 up uh, N5 at 10 megahertz and T-Mobile with N41 showing that you need to come you need to go ahead and bring up all your, your beans at 800 down and 139 up Alrighty. So Imperv does not like to play well in a window. Here we go. So AT&T is trying to get something. Not much, but they're trying. And moving on to the browsing test. That extra capacity is allowing T-Mobile to have um, very, very low browsing speeds in comparison to what at and is doing. Moving on to the video test. All right, so 360 is already 
in the books, working on 720. Remember, the next test actually shows what we can do with this da this download speed. So stay to the end. All right, so T-Mobile is at 792 down and 135 up with a 28 millisecond ping. Um, browsing and streaming, very good. 87% on browsing. 97 96% on streaming. AT&T also at 127 down and 37 up on AT&T at 20 millisecond uh ping. Uh browsing very good at 81% and streaming very good at, at 97%. So, what can we do with that much juice? Right now, since there's nobody on the network, this should be child's play for both of these companies. So we're going to install PUBG, a 772 meg file over the network. And three, two, one, go. All right, so at and at 4%. T-Mobile shot out to 14, 11%, 21, 17%, 31, 33, 38, 46, 44, 65, 55, 91, 63. AT&T is done. T-Mobile still got a long way to go before they can actually go toe-to-toe -to -toe right now. But they're showing they still got a little bit of extra capacity to still work with. But, very good close one. AT&T they didn't start off very good with 10 megabits down. But they still show they got the juice currently right now. So... Thank you all for watching. Come back again to another episode of Can You Stream <laughs> or Download Off of These Networks. Thank you all for watching.